Good afternoon, everyone. How the fuck are you guys doing? And good afternoon to you, Rosebush. You know, I, I knew instantly when I saw this video that I was, I was going to have to post a video reply. Um, I knew I wasn't going to be able to walk away, and I, I was fucking right. Um, I read your description, and then I read your comment section. How fucking disappointing that experience was for me. I got to tell you, and, and I had to make a video response. Uh, for those of you who don't know, please go watch it there or there, wherever the fuck, and then come back and watch this video, by all means. Now, <clears throat> Rosebush, you start your video by saying, you know, by asking the audience, what would you think uh, of a group of people who went to a Star Trek convention only to make fun uh, of the Star Trek fans that were attending said convention, Right. That's your question. Like, what would you think about that group of people? i got to tell you, what would I think? Um, I'll be honest. I, I would think that these were three or four people with way too much fucking time on their hands. And um, for some reason, they find Star Trek fans to be comical. That's what I would think. Now, I might say something like, well, that's time-wasting and immature. So? So the fuck what? I, I got to tell you, all that being said, I certainly wouldn't be offended by what they did. I, I certainly wouldn't be um, appalled or standing in awe of how inconsiderate they were to the, to the poor people who were attending the Star Trek convention that were only there to have a good time. They didn't come to get laughed at. Tough shit. Some people think your um, Star Trek fanaticism or whatever the fuck is funny. That's life. That's the world you live in. Tough shit, right? Right. And I don't think, Rosebush, that you can look on YouTube and find a video like the one I'm responding to, like the one you made, where there's a guy making a video like yours going, I can't believe how those Star Trek fans were being treated. You won't find that video. You know why? Because nobody gives a fuck. Nobody thinks that simply by default of being a Star Trek fan and going to a convention, you deserve not to be made fun of. Nobody thinks that. You know why? Because nobody was brought up their entire fucking life to believe that all Star Trek fans deserve respect. And when you go to their conventions, you make the Star Trek symbol and you hallelujah and you sprinkle water on each other. Nobody was brought up to believe that, so that's why nobody gives a fuck about Star Trek fans. On the other hand, you have these four atheists on YouTube who go into a church. Whoa, now we're on sensitive ground, right? Now, now, some of that guilt is coming back. Because remember, a church is a sacred place, right? A part of me has to wonder, Rosebush, I mean, I mean I'm not, like, 100% sure about your upbringing. But, you know, you know how when you're raised in a, I was raised in a religious environment. And you know that I don't believe in God. You know that I don't give a fuck about religion and that I have no respect for it. But even, like, a part of my brain when I'm in a church... I still kind of get the heebie-jeebies, like maybe I shouldn't sprinkle holy water on my friend or give the priest the middle finger, right? Maybe I shouldn't curse in church. Maybe I shouldn't fart, right? You know, it's it's all part of that fucking dogmatic brainwash that took place when I was a kid. It's still there. It's hard to shake. But But I think that's really all your fucking video comes down to. You have, like, you still have, like, this little spark of guilt that these people somehow deserve... Respect because they're at their church. What harm did these atheists, these people on YouTube do when they went to that church? They cracked a few jokes. They, they stole a communion wafer that some asshole was going to eat anyway, and they snickered. Sure, it was immature. And no, it wasn't productive. But not every fucking thing I do is productive. When I sit down and, re and read a book, that's not productive for, for any calls. It doesn't get anything done. When I'm jerking off, it, it certainly doesn't fucking save the whales. Okay, but not everything has to be a, a cause that you're fighting. No, and, and, and no, no. Simply because these people are at church, that, that doesn't entitle them to any more respect than a Star Trek fan. Fortunately, we're living in a fucking world where people are starting to see these religious practices for what they are. And they're making jokes and they're fucking laughing. By all means, don't criticize people for doing Who gives a fuck? 
I mean, what did these people do to earn, like, some sort of fucking noble respect other than freak you out and make you think that their church is somehow sacred and that, no, you can't be making any jokes when you're at church? I think it's bullshit. With, with, all, the other, with all the fucking money that goes into building that church, how much fucking money do you think it costs to build the church they were in? How much money do you think they spend on the fancy fucking robes and the incense and the communion wafers and the goddamn sacramental wine that could, you know, they could be like fucking feeding starving people. And shit, I mean, don't even get me started. With all the fucking problems that they actually cause, you're, you're really going to make this video criticizing a, a small group of atheists that walked into one of these fucking million dollar churches and, and snickered a few times? Honestly, dude, I got to tell you, I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. These people aren't you know, deserving of respect. Their religion doesn't deserve respect just because they think it does. And I think that, I think it's really reckless and dangerous to help to perpetuate the idea that, yeah, they're on their turf, so we should treat them with a little fucking respect and not laugh at their stupid bullshit. Sorry, dude, but I can't get on board with you. I respect you, Rose Bush, but think about it. What they did was fucking harmless in the long run, all right? Peace.